what you're thinking about the Crimson Tide and their chances. Well, they're on the outside looking in. They obviously need help. And the bottom line is if the ACC champ is in, the SEC champ is in, one loss Oklahoma is in, and undefeated Wisconsin is in, Alabama is out. Okay, so let's go to a scenario courtesy of our friends at 538. Here's what we're going to do going in. We're going to give Clemson the win in the ACC championship. They are in the college football playoff. We are going to give Oklahoma the win in the Big 12 championship. But we're going to go down here to the SEC championship. In this scenario, we're going to have Georgia beating Auburn, and we're going to have Ohio State winning the Big Ten championship over Wisconsin. Look at the numbers now projected by 538. This is one scenario where it could get interesting. 50% Ohio State, Alabama 49% in this scenario. In this case, what do you think the committee would do? I love this because these numbers reflect exactly how close it's going to be in that selection committee room. What happens now is Alabama's resume comes under the microscope for those 13 people. Entering that Auburn game, it was 60 second in the country in strength of schedule. You look at Ohio State. Ohio State would be coming off a top four win against the only undefeated Power Five team in the country remaining. That's better than anything Alabama has on its current resume. Add to that, people forget they beat a ranked Penn State team, yep. a ranked Michigan State team. Now, would that outweigh giving up 55 points to Iowa? A loss? Two losses, also losing to Oklahoma. Look, just because you're Alabama doesn't mean you're in. I think they would lean towards the Buckeyes.